Hey everyone, today we're diving deep into the mystical world of the Necromancer class in Diablo 4. Specifically, we'll be unraveling the Bone Spear Necromancer build, a powerhouse of a bone chilling destruction. In the background is one of my latest Nightmare Dungeon runs. In this video, we're going to explore the intricacies of this build, its skills, and strategies for maximizing your damage output. Although most of the player base tend to gravitate towards the most popular builds in Diablo 4, like the Rogue, Druid, or Barbarian, I promise you, if you're looking for a high damage and fun build, you might want to give the Necromancer a test drive. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. The Bone Spear Necromancer build is all about raining death upon your foes with deadly bone projectiles. Our main damage skill, Bone Spear, take center stage here, but we'll also be delving into the supporting skills that amplify our damage and survivability. Bone Spears are bread and butter, capable of piercing through enemies and dealing massive damage, as seen here during my Nightmare Dungeon run. We'll break down its mechanics, discuss its synergies with other skills, and reveal how to target and aim your spears effectively to make every shot count. Combining Corpse Explosion with our Bone Spear Necromancer build is a match made in heaven. This skill can turn fallen enemies into devastating area of effect explosions, resulting in a symphony of destruction that clears the battlefield. Decrepify and Corpse Tendrils add an element of crowd control and debuffing to our arsenal. You need to strategically use these skills to weaken enemies, slow down their advance, and create opportunities for devastating Bone Spear volleys. Blood Mist and Bone Splinter bring a unique layer of complexity to our build. Blood Mist coats the battlefield with a chilling mist, enhancing our Bone Spear damage. Bone Splinter, on the other hand, generates essence, fractures enemies, leading to explosive chain reactions when combined with corpse explosion. I promise you, this build is so much fun and devastating. And for those of you that are interested, this is my current setup. It is not maximized. However, I am having no problems with any of the Nightmare Dungeons. I'm level 79 right now. And I'm clearing Nightmare Dungeons, you know, level 34, 35, and actually uh, going to be pushing that even further as we continue to optimize this build. So first of all, let's start with the skill tree. And basically, we have Reap and Acolytes of Reap. And that's basically just when we're getting low on essence. This actually generates our essence. We have unliving energy maxed. And of course, bone spear, which is our main damage producer. And I have supernatural bone spear, which is uh, turns everybody vulnerable. And we got hued flesh to increase our chance to create a corpse. And of course, Corpse Explosion with Season 1 and the Malignant Heart that automatically triggers this. It just goes hand in hand with the new season. Grim Harvest and Fueled by Death, which increases our damage for 6 seconds after consuming a corpse. Uh, these are maxed. We have Death's Embrace, which close enemies take more damage. We also have Iron Maiden which curses the targeted area and the enemies afflicted by Iron Maiden take more damage. We have Amplified Damage. Of course, we have Corpse Tendrils, which we've chosen the blight, Blighted Corpse Tendrils. We also have Serration, which gives us increased crit chance. We have Compound Fracture, which increases our bone skill damage. And we have Evulsion, 
which increases crit damage to vulnerable enemies. We have Inspiring Leader, Standalone Maxed Out, and Memento Mori. And Ossified Essence, our Book of the Dead, we've sacrificed all three. We've sacrificed the Skirmishers in order to increase our critical strike chance. We've sacrificed our Skeleton Mages on the cold side to deal 15% increased damage to vulnerable enemies and our iron golems in order to deal 30% increased crit strike damage. As far as gear is concerned, we have the Deathless Visage as the helm, Bone Weave Armor of Disobedience as the chest, Primary Gauntlets of Serration for the gloves, we got the Primal Protector for the pants, Wind Striker Warlord boots, and we have this great sword of grasping veins. And the imprint is that we gain 26% 20, increased crit chance for six seconds when you cast a Corpse Tendril. Splintering Choker for the amulet. This is not the ideal one, but so far I haven't been able to get the one that I need. We have the loop of exposed flesh. Again, this ring is not the best in slot for this build. However, it's uh, doing me just nicely right now. And we have the vicious heart walking near a corpse automatically activates an equipped corpse skill every second dealing 35% reduced damage. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention on the amulet, we got the brutal heart. You gain 11% barrier generation and you heal 12% life per second while you have an active barrier. Again, this is not best in slot, but it's working for me so far, so I'm sticking with it. And we have the Ring of Umbral. I probably butchered that. Um, and the Brutal Heart, when at least two enemies are near you, gain an aura that automatically curses surrounding enemies with the Crepify for 11 seconds. Like I said, I love this build. Uh, I'm going to get it to 100 in Season 1. I'm having a blast with it. When I first started leveling, I was actually doing a companion build with the uh, skeletons and golems. Um, but I changed over to the Bone Spear build and obviously sacrificed all three in order to get the higher damage. And I have to say it was the best decision I ever made. I love, love this build. Totally love it. And she's a badass. Just want to show you what she looks like up close. She is one bad mofo. If you have not tried the Bone Spear Necromancer build, I highly recommend it. The damage is insane. There's a reason why this makes the S tier list of all the top builds in Diablo 4. Well, that'll do it for this video, everyone. I really hope after seeing this video, you're going to give Necromancer Bone Spear build a try. If you haven't played Necromancer yet, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It is such a fun class play. Really, the only negative thing I have to say, and everyone already knows this, and that's just the mobility is not as good, obviously, as the other classes. That's where this class really shows its weakness. But once you start adding movement speed into your gear, believe me, you don't even notice it anymore. I highly, highly, highly recommend this build. Super fun, super damaging. Well, that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. As always, for those of you that have supported my channel and continue to support it, thank you so much. I really, really, truly appreciate your support and your messages. They're awesome. Thank you so much. For those of you that are new, and if this is the first video of mine that you've watched, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you found the content relevant and enjoyable. And if you haven't done so already, please like, comment, or subscribe. See you in Sanctuary, and we'll see you next time.